This week, we also learned of the first person in the U.S. confirmed to get COVID-19 twice. On your side, Kaylee Tracy talked with a doctor about how likely it is to be reinfected. But of course, it's it's a new virus, so we're learning about the virus as we go. Something we just learned, a 25-year-old man became the first person in the United States to get COVID-19 for a second time. He's the fifth known reinfection case worldwide. If they were unlucky enough to come down with it again, one would hope that, that the recovery would be quicker and the, the um, symptoms would not be as severe. According to a study in the Lancet Infectious Diseases Journal, the man from Nevada tested positive in April, recovered, and tested positive again in June. The study says his symptoms were more severe during the second case and that it was a different version of the virus. The science just isn't perfect on that point yet. So I think it's, it's still important to play it safe. And, you know, we don't know for sure that if, if you've had it, you won't get reinfected. Certainly, it seems like that's uh, pretty unlikely, um, but it, it again, the, the science is not definitive. Dr. Elizabeth Ransom of Baptist Health says just like any infectious disease, the body should develop antibodies once you've had COVID-19 to fight it off in the future, but it's not sure how long they last. The nice part. I went through it. Now they say I'm immune. I can feel I feel so powerful. Regarding the president's statement that because he has had COVID-19, he's immune. Ransom says again, no one can know for sure. We can't say with with absolute certainty. She says if you've had the virus, you should still act like you're vulnerable. I would suggest, as always, it's important to wear a mask, hand hygiene, practice physical distancing is, is always important. Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.